Hello, this is Snowman again. Today I'm talking about the topic I really like. It's about VTX antennas. A good friend of mine, Swiss Fries FPV, once told me I've been an antenna junkie, and probably he was right. So today we are talking about this little thing about the True RC singularity and this antennenprop Fräse from Antennenfreunde uh, in Germany. Let's see how they perform. The length is about uh, 10.5 inches long or 6, 15.5 centimeters for the Antennenfreund antenna and just something like 13 centimeters for the singularity. But I don't think that's going to make a big difference. But let's see how the RSSI and the DVR uh, is going to show the truth. Here you see them side by side during the flight, left side, that's the singularity, on the right side you see the antenna and throwing the antenna. Um, the RSSI is better the whole way for the singularity. Unfortunately I don't have it with numbers because I did something wrong when I was I changed something in the DVR settings so it didn't record the numbers. But you can see the bars, they're always higher on the singularity uh, antenna. And another thing which I just felt was uh, I, my quad was much more shaking with the antenna for the antenna that might come from the size. Uh, the wind was really attacking the, the surface and the whole quad was shaking much more than with the singularity antenna. That's actually a good point for the singularity antenna. The look, honestly, the antenna front antenna looks really cool, but for me it's more important uh, to have a good feed and not so much about how it looks. So for me the winner in this race is 100% True RC Singularity antenna. Once again, True RC, they really know how to make good antennas. Let's talk about the test. I only changed antenna. So it was with, flown both times with exactly the same quad, the same settings on the VTX, nothing changed also on the antenna setup. It was always the same. On the receiver part, I have my proven docking with the True D uh, receiver. I think it's 3.8. I think they have even a new uh, firmware upgrade. That's the DVR. Usually it works great, but I was just changing something in between the flights. So that's why uh, one side it showed me the numbers and on the first uh, set only the bars. But as you can see, I'm flying with two uh, X2 air antennas, 5.8 gigahertz. And one is with a 30 degree angle and the other one is straight. This way I can fly every mountain in front of me and I don't have a dead spot um, any time. At the end you see the footage from the GoPro and I really have to mention this because in the DVR you see a lot of shakes and I upgraded from the Hero 5 Black to the Hero 7 with Hyper Smooth and you know what? It's, it's incredible. It's just... I, I don't have any words. Hero 7, hyper smooth, that's the way you want to go. Especially when you fly 7 inch, you don't have a cellos, you need a ND filter, but it's just smooth and it's just great. It's, it's pure pleasure to fly. And the videos, they were not color graded or anything, they're just out of the cam. It's really amazing little piece and I can really highly recommend as well the Hero 7 as well as the RC singularity. I would also like to talk shortly about how I'm testing. Um, the technical thing that's something you've already seen, I explained it to you, but very important I buy those antennas with my own money so I don't get any free gimmicks or something from those companies. Maybe I will in the future, I don't know. But uh, for me it's really about giving you my, my honest and personal feedback um, and I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, so I buy this with my own hard-earned money, just to make this very clear. Thank you.